just connect to the energy I'm sending you throughout this video. And during this transmission, I have my eyes closed because I'm sending energy and talking at the same time. And for me to keep my eyes closed just enables me more easily to do things at the same time. We talk about energy healing, Kundalini activation, Reiki, quantum healing. There are many levels of what we call energy healing or quantum healing. The first levels we can call healing because we're clearing the energy blocks, the emotional traumas, the releases of those traumas stored within our bodies, our physical body and our energy body. This is where you see those attention grabbing scenes of people moving around and screaming and shouting and releasing. You can find in many places on YouTube and other channels. I tend not to put videos like this on my channel simply because I, I don't want to just grab your attention with some shocking, dramatic scene for views. My aim is to help you do these things for yourself. but also to spread knowledge because there's so many misconceptions. So many people, when they start in this journey, don't move at all. There is some resistance to it. This could be coming in the form of trust issues, not necessarily of the other person, but of themselves. And this is why you have to submit to the energies or what they would call in religion or tantric practices, submitting and devoting yourself to a God or to an energy. And then when you allow yourself to do this, you can have releases, emotional, physical, however it goes far deeper than this, because then Once everything is released and everything is cleared, or for people that are naturally high in energy, yes, you then have the pleasurable side of these, the energy orgasms and things like this, but it goes deeper still. Not only are we talking about the realms of the cities, the psychic abilities that are awakened within you. We're talking about it's almost like a waking dream state would be the best way to describe it. 
where whilst you're fully awake and fully conscious, just sitting or lying down relaxed. It may begin with seeing sacred geometry, but this will soon turn into almost like dreams, waking dreams. This is where deep healing, deep awakenings occur. We're not talking about the awakenings of the Kundalini. That I would class more within the tantric section of it, the bliss states, the energy orgasms, the energies rising, the energies falling. I'm talking about even deeper still. You will go on these vision journeys, like the shamans of old talk about. This is why I call it a waking dream state, because you go on these journeys and you see these things. For example, in sessions with me, many people, whilst they're in these vision states, I am within their visions because our energies are connected. With group sessions, it might not just be me they see, they might actually see other people that are in the group. Now this takes quite a while for the energies to connect so other people can be seen. But this is when, you know, so many of these techniques saying, your energies don't connect with other people's and it's just my energy moving your energy. Well, little do they know. Because when the energies are, are flowing together, they are connected. And this is why people will have these states. And as you go deeper, people will share the same vision in a group. Everyone having the same experience, seeing the same things. Now, of course, the brain will filter these in different ways. So, for example, one person might say, Oh, I saw these triangular mountains in a forest. And others will say, they were pyramids in a desert. But fundamentally, the vision is the same. It's just the landscape that's changing slightly. But these vision journeys, just like the shamans, bring deep insight, bring intuitions. And it's even to the point of the oracles of old. Now the oracles used, it has many names. It could be ayahuasca, it could be soma, it could be, but they used plant medicines to reach these visions. But by using the energy, you do not need to take any external substances. You don't need peyote. You don't need... You can have these same visions just through energy. And for some people, it takes time to be able to connect the right parts of the brain. To be able to go on these vision journeys. And that's fine, some people take time. They need to calm their brains down, but they also need to engage their whole brain. And as many have written, that's what Kundalini awakening is about. It's about the rising energy, but also when the energy rises, it connects so many more parts of the brain so we have many more parts of our consciousness open to us. 
if we talk about this on a physical level. No journeys differ, interpretations can differ, depending on biases, filters, programming. But you start to become aware Not of these figures, some people start by seeing these figures, what people refer to as gods or saints or whatever. But those figures eventually disappear once the people are able to connect to the energy that has been given a human form or representation by your mind and other people's minds and programming. And you get to discover things that you just didn't imagine possible. Because whilst, whilst I say these are sort of like waking dream states, they are very different from your regular dream when you sleep at night. And perhaps one of the most famous cities as described by yoga is that of being able to sit in two ways, travel larger distances or fly. Because in these states, many people have the feeling of flying or they travel from one place to another place in the instance of an eye. Sometimes these places are very realistic, earthbound places, and other times they are very etheric. Some people might say, I went to an alien planet, okay? That's their way of their brain interpreting them. Because another person might say, for the same vision, I went to another dimension. Or, it was like Earth, but it wasn't quite Earth. For example, if we take the first example of the pyramids, okay, we have pyramids on Earth. But if they say they were triangular mountains, not built by humans, but yet all in a line, you see the difference in the interpretations. Some people might say, no, it was an alien planet because there were plants and flowers and the grass was pink and the sky was purple. Just filters, interpretations. Now, of course, those colors can represent energies. But who is to say? Perhaps it is an alien planet. Who knows? It doesn't really matter. People get bogged down by the details of these things. It's not about the details. It's about the messages, the interpretations that you can find in these places, realizations, openings, awakenings. But these happen in very profound states. And so should we call it then energy healing or quantum healing? Because it's gone beyond the healing aspect. And we're moving higher, we're awakening. And thus we can call it energy awakenings and activations. Be careful of the word activations because people use that for lesser things. Reiki activation, for example, Kundalini activation. These are the lesser energies. These are the ones for the clearing energy blocks and the big movements and things.
when people have these visions and journeys, they're amazed. It's like, where do they come from? What are they? But we have to go deep to be able to discover them. If you wish to go deeper with these things, try coming for some private or group sessions with me. Link in the description. If you wish to learn to control these energies for yourself and learn internal alchemy, try taking my course. Link in the description. Because all these things will open you up to understand there's so much more than getting up, going to work, plugging yourself into social media or going and playing some sport. Of course, staying healthy is good. A healthy mind, a healthy body, but also healthy energy is very important too. It's that side of us that our society has lost. What have you felt today whilst connected to the energy from this video? What have you experienced? Let me know in the comments below. Remember, to subscribe and hit that notification button to get more videos, information, energy transmissions, meditations from my channel and me.